This is a $500 laser engraver that requires no assembly and you can start engraving within 10 minutes of unboxing. Let's check it out. So a few months back, I checked out another laser engraver from Creality Falcon and it was a beast, but the price also reflected that. This is the Creality Falcon A1 and it has a lot of features that I like. Being at the price point of $500, the A1 is definitely targeted towards beginners and hobbyists just starting out in laser engraving. Disclaimer, Creality did send me out the A1 to check out, but they're not paying me, so all of the opinions are my own. When I think about products for beginners, I think about having a lot of quality of life features. Anything that causes frustration with assembly or having to calibrate multiple things can cause you to lose interest in a hobby. The A1 does a really good job with adding a lot of quality of life features while keeping the price down. What's really special about the A1 is everything comes pre-assembled. You basically have to pull it out of the box, take all the extra parts out and power it on. I remember assembling my Falcon 2 Pro before and it took like two hours, mainly because the instructions were hard to follow. You get some allen wrenches, the fan exhaust hose, USB cable for your computer, the laser focusing gauge. You also get the air assist pump. I'm going to be honest, I think this is a really good looking machine. The frame is aluminum and it has a nice light orange plastic covering the front and the top. It gives amazing visibility to see what you're working on. On the side you have a start button, an emergency stop button, connections for power, air assist, USB-C, a plug for the rotary accessory, and a safety keyhole so the machine won't turn on without the key. Another safety feature is the machine won't turn on or it'll turn off mid-job if any of the doors are open. One of the flaws I found was the orange plastic was really flexible. I don't think it's a huge issue but I would have liked to see it a little more rigid. Also the front door hinges seem to have a lot of movement in them. I would have liked to see them have a tighter tolerance. The lighting in the machine was really good and I thought they had lighting all around the machine but it was just one strip in the front frame. The top opens up to give you huge access to your workspace and the laser. Here's the camera for the software but we'll go over that a little more later. The front kind of reminds me of a pizza oven with how it opens. I don't see myself using the front door too much, so I'll probably just stick to the top door. They do have a fan in the back to evacuate the smoke, and it does a pretty decent job. If you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like and let me know in the comments if you guys already own a laser engraver, what brand is it? Plus, if you're interested in checking out the Creality Falcon A1 or any other products I've checked out or used, I'll have everything linked in the description down below. So the A1 is a 10 watt laser, and that's a decent amount of power for a hobbyist or a beginner. Creality says you you can cut through up to six millimeters of basswood. I've only cut through three millimeters just because that's what I had laying around. I'm going to classify this laser mostly for etching and engraving with light cutting work. If you're looking to do a lot of cutting, you might want to look at a more powerful laser like a 20 watt laser. The overall work area is 381 millimeters by 305 millimeters. That's a pretty good size for 500 bucks. I made this before with the Falcon 2 Pro, but you can easily make something like this with the A1. I also engraved my logo into my phone case and it did a great job, super clean lines. I was able to use the A1 camera to line up the logo to get a centered etch. Speaking of the camera, I did have one issue with it. I tried using Lightburn since I'm a little more familiar with it, but I couldn't get it to recognize the camera. Maybe I was doing something wrong or there needs to be an update to Lightburn since this is a new machine. One of the cool things you could do with the camera is if you buy material from Creality, you get this little QR code. The QR code can be scanned by the camera and it will default the laser power and speed to the material for cutting or etching. I did a quick little etch from a picture of my cat and it did a pretty good job. When you're getting into etching and engraving, the quality of the material can play a big part. Some of the cheaper woods can burn more, leaving a terrible looking finish. Even though the A1 is a small machine, you could take out the bottom pan and get extension feet so you can etch thicker materials like tumblers. Overall, for 500 bucks, I think this is a really good machine. It has a lot of capabilities of larger, more expensive lasers. I honestly don't think you can go wrong picking up the A1 as your first laser engraver. Thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really help me out a lot.